Okay, peace and love, you guys. Now, another thing that is powerful to do while you're at home during this time is to create sig sig uh, sigils. Some people say sigils, some people say sigils, but it's C-I-S-G-I-L-S. -S. And I'll put some pictures at the end of this video so that you can get a little bit more idea of what I'm talking about. But they're very powerful tools in manifesting or living your ideal and dream life, whether it's health, wealth, um, relationships, or whatever. I'm getting ready to show up. I mean, sit up and show you exactly how I did it on my piece of paper that I have ready for you. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's get to it. These are sigils that I have created just now. Now, for example, I'm using a yellow piece of paper because it is Sunday, which is represented by gold. These are some attributes of Sunday, which is um, yellow, gold, um, those are some of the colors. And these are some of the attributes of things that you can focus on manifesting on Sundays, okay? Now, for example, this is how you write a sigil. Now, peace is one of the attributes of today. So you can put, I am always at peace because you're speaking in present tense, just like right here, I manifest success, okay? And down here, my ideas bring great fortune. But let's go back up here. So I'm always at peace. You write that out, then you write only the vowels. Now, some people leave Y, some people take out Y, depending on how many letters you have. If you have a very short, um, maybe four or five letters and you can add Y. It's totally up to you. Um, on this one, I left the Y and on this one, I took out the Y. Now, so there's plethora of different ways you can do it. Like I said, at the end of this video, I will show you the different ways you can do it with pictures, um, describing it. Okay. Um, but you do it like this. This is one of my favorite sigils. So basically every number corresponds to a letter. And then you can write in a circle those numbers, such as like this, one, four, six, two, nine, five, or whatever. So one through nine in a circle, but no in particular order. Then, like for example, this one is Wealthy I Am. This is an old one that I did. Um, but this is a sigil, Wealthy I Am. When I see this, that's what I think about. That's what I know. That's what's charged. And you can write that and use that so many different ways in so many different places. You can write it on rocks. You can describe it with your finger in the shower. You know, once you tend to memorize it, charge it. And I'll tell you, tell you about how to charge it and all that in just a second. But then you just write from W is five. You go up in five, three, you know, and you go like that. And then you come out with something that you can add dots. You can be creative. So this is one of my favorites. So with this one, we had no now with this particular one, you take out all the um the vowel the I mean sorry, you take out all the vowels, you just keep the consonants, right? And you also don't want any repeating letters. So this one I had no repeating letters, but for example, my ideas ring great fortune, there was tons of vowels. But see we have two R's, three R's actually. So I only need one R. You only need one letter of each. So I underlined the letters that were repeated and I didn't repeat them here. So it shortens it to this. And then, like I said, this is my favorite method because they just look more beautiful. This is a, this my particular sigil. And you can redo these sigils as much as you want. But once you do it, you put it in a circle. You can cut it out of that circle and you charge it. And you this one was too much for me. So I was like, let me try this method. This is just a whole lot of letters, but I could see the letters. You really don't want to see the letters. This is another one for I'm always at peace. This one could have been more... It's beautiful, but... I like it. I like it. But you can always do it over and over and over again. But you, now, you see I got circles around them to protect the energy and separate the energy of each sequel from the others. Okay? So then what I would do is I would cut it out, right? And then there's a lots of ways you can charge these. You could charge it by working out. And after you work out the sweat, you can put it on the sigil. Um, some people masturbate or have sex. <laughs> and then they use that sweat from that and they put it on the sigil. Um, you can bury it. Um, you can bury it in the backyard. I say bury it in a plant to bring like, like I love money trees when it comes to success. And I found them for $5 to $10 certain places. Look for them. They're easy to find. Um, you can bury them. It. You can burn it. You can also put it like in a moving stream of water so you can see it float away to manifest. And you could use these over and over and over again. Um, either if you want to use the same one, you can. Or if you like this one, I'll use this one over and over because I love this sigil. It's simple. It's basic. It's beautiful. Um, this one I may redo again before I use it and charge it. And so again, you can use these in a plethora of different ways. I have this beautiful sketchbook that was a gift to me from a dear, uh, beloved Raheem. And it's his sketchbook and doing something magical with it. But he also, you know, he's one of 
the best artist ever. He drew this in the front of it. Um, if you don't know, go check out Raheem Art on Instagram and uh, go see his work. And then I don't show you what else I put in there because it's very sacred. Um, but I would put some sigils in here after I've gotten comfortable. Like this one will go in here, you know, and other things um, that I put in here that's sacred uh, to me. Um, but yeah, so that's how you do it. 